All right, so we've heard over the years people getting, like, irately, ridiculously mad over video games. We've heard all the stories, you know, of people swatting over Call of Duty matches and people ended up getting killed even though they were innocent, weren't even involved in the situation. We've heard a lot of ridiculous stories, but uh, apparently another one has happened, and this one, I gotta say, is just nuts, man. Um, I have gotten, I, I will say, I've gotten mad over video games before. Call of Duty has, I broke a controller when I was like 11 or 12 years old over Call of Duty, right? Like, you know, video games, they're, they're meant to relax you, but sometimes like they really do kind of upset you and make you mad. I get that, but there's no chance that I would ever get so mad at a video game that I would ever even go close to the extents like this. It's just sad that video games and like people not being able to handle them like correctly or properly can lead to tragic situations like this and unfortunately as well these are situations that people point to and they're like look this is what gamers do this is what people who play video games are like where they say it causes in real life violence and whatnot right which scientifically has been disproven countless times over and over and over again for the last few decades at this point but even the header of this article really kind of like i guess insinuates that right where the alleged killer drew uh, drove from east bay to texas over a possible gaming feud right there's no chance that that's what it was actually over, right? Like, sure, maybe that's what it was on paper, but dude, people like this can't be, like, normal. This has to be, like, a mentally insane, mentally ill person, right? Like, there's no chance that this is, like, the average person getting mad over a video game. An online gaming dispute may have been behind a Pleasanton man driving 1,700 miles to Texas to kill an 18-year-old before driving back to his home, according to a Bay Area law enforcement official. The 23-year-old man police believe is the gunman killed himself Wednesday night as SWAT officers were moving in to arrest him in Pleasanton. The Texas victim, Matthew Thain, 18, was fatally shot Tuesday morning around 6 a.m. in Flower Mound, according to police in Flower Mound, which is about 30 miles north of Dallas. Flower Mound detectives said that the suspect was wearing a helmet and jeans and they did not believe that the fatal shooting was a random act. They said in a release issued Tuesday that they had no reason to believe the suspect was still in the area. I mean, yeah, of course, no one drives a 1700 mile trip, I guess, to just do something random like this, right? And, and, and let's just think about the fact that this was apparently over Call of Duty, right? Like, you know, dude, I have talked so much in Call of Duty lobbies. Like, dude, from like the age 11 onward, I was just being mean to people in Call of Duty. I still am mean to people in Call of Duty lobbies, right? It's just kind of part of the experience. Let's keep it a buck 50, right? Like, if you didn't, like, I guess, experience like the golden age of COD, you may not understand what it's like to be in game chat, I guess. But dude, it it's fun to be a little toxic sometimes, right? Dude, there's no way that I would ever imagine that, like, I would lead that to be, like, mad at somebody and, like, go to kill them, right? Like, there, there's just no chance that would ever happen. Like, imagine Call of Duty, right, is, is the point that you get so upset over that you, like, legitimately take someone else's life. Just picture that's you. What kind of fucking weirdo do you have to be? Like, you gotta be, like, an animal, bro. That just... That, that's not normal, that's not acceptable, and that, that I just, I don't understand. Like, bro, it gets to a point, right, where, like, if you're getting that mad over a video game, dude, you just gotta turn the thing off, right? Like, you just gotta shut the PlayStation off and go lay down in bed, or go do, like, work out or something, bro. You cannot be letting a video game and people on the internet get you that mad, right? Where, like, you gotta just go after them, right? That, that's nuts, dude. A Bay Area police official said that the suspected killer set a propane tank on fire outside the victim's house to lure him outside, where he was shot. Police believe the two knew each other through gaming. Flower Mound Police Captain Shane Jennings said that in an interview Thursday, investigators are looking at a potential link between the homicide in Flower Mound and something that took place in Pleasanton Wednesday night. He declined to confirm any further details on the case. Like, dude, how does it get to this point, right? Like, I can't... He, dude, the dude set a propane tank on fire to lure him outside. Like, this dude literally masterminded a brutal homicide because of a Call of Duty disagreement. There is legitimately people out there who do things like this, man. That that just, I don't know, dude. On Christmas this year, it'll be 10 years since I've played Call of Duty online, right? I got Black Ops 1 on Christmas in 2010. That was the first day I ever played Call of Duty online. Ever since then, I played, right? So in my 10 years of playing this game, I've never been in a situation where I ever thought my life would be in danger. And, and not only that, I also have never been in a situation where I've been so mad at another person through the game that like, 
I, I thought about putting their life in danger, right? Like this dude legitimately sat there and like planned this out. Like, yeah, I'm gonna set this propane tank on fire, lure him out of the house, and then I'm gonna get him, bro. Like, come on, dude, what is wrong with you, you know? Like you look at all these different situations that have happened over time, right? You know, where people end up dead over Call of Duty disagreements and, and things like that, man. These are not normal people that we're talking about that do these kinds of things. Because, I mean, like, like think about yourself, right? You know, a lot of you play COD. A lot of people play COD, right? It's one of the most popular games every year. Dude, if anyone ever got you, like, worked up or mad, you have so many options that don't lead down this road. You can unfriend them if they're on your friends list. You can just block the person, okay? They can't send you messages. They can't really do anything at that point. They can't join your parties or whatever. You can mute them in-game or block them in-game then they really can't, like, play the game with you or anything, okay? You can simply ignore the situation and just move on with your day. You can just back out of the lobby. You can get off of the game altogether and just go play it another time. Like, there's so many options that lead to a, a way better result that don't result in you serving life in prison over something stupid. But, I mean, I guess, you know... That, that's what, like, the normal person would do, right? It's what the average person would do. Apparently, that's just not something in the best interest of psychopaths on the internet, so. A GoFundMe online fundraiser was set up for Thane's family, who, according to social media posts, was known as JPN or Japan in the online gaming community and played the popular Call of Duty game. He also had a Twitch channel where gamers can play live online and others can watch. Matthew never failed to put a smile on someone's face and brighten their day. He was such a unique character, one of a kind reads the online fundraiser. By Thursday, nearly $12,000 was raised. One of the aspects police are looking into is if the killing was related to an online gaming dispute. I mean, at a certain point, man, like, it, it almost has to be, right? Like, some sort of online disagreement, because we're talking about people who were, what, once again, 1,700 miles away from one another. It wasn't like these people met up in the middle and had an issue, and then he, like, followed him or something. That, that doesn't even make sense. At this point, like, it, it's pretty much guaranteed that it had to have been something, like, over the internet, okay? Because, I mean, that's just way too much distance for something to have happened beyond that, right? Like, I, I think I know the, the furthest person away from me that, like, I've gone to meet or anything was 900 miles. It was a buddy who lived in Virginia, right? So, that that's, like, the farthest I've ever traveled or, like, I guess hung out with somebody or been somewhere with somebody that wasn't, like, an online communication. Like, I have friends in Canada and whatnot and in the UK and in Germany and things like that. You know, that's cool, right? Those are online friends and everything. Dude, I've never, like, I, I don't know, I've never traveled to, say, California to, like, hang out with a friend or, like, go and do anything crazy, right? So, it just wouldn't make sense for it to be anything else other than, like, an internet dispute, probably over video games at this point, but Pleasanton Police referred media inquiries over to Flower Mound Police. The suspect allegedly drove the 1,700-mile journey from Pleasanton to Texas, which takes about 25 hours, to shoot the victim and then drove back to Pleasanton, a law enforcement source said. Pleasanton police surrounded a home on Huntswood Court around 11 p.m. Wednesday night. The 23-year-old man suspected of killing Thane was found dead of a gunshot wound when police searched the home. The Almeida County Coroner's Bureau has not yet released his name. Once again, like, I, I know I've said this before, I don't really care about this guy's name, like, he's just garbage, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that these people should be, I would say, lauded almost for this kind of behavior by getting media attention and whatnot brought to their name. Because in reality, I think, personally, I think a reason that a lot of these people do psychotic things like this is because they know that there's going to be media attention, right? Like, they're they're going to have their name in the paper and whatnot, and it's going to give them, like, a superhero-esque look or whatever, right? Maybe not in situations particularly like this, but, I mean, when you look at, like, mass tragedies and stuff, I really do think that's a lot of the reason, right? Because the media covers these kinds of situations to death, and they, like, they'll write entire pieces about the person who did it and things like that, right? I don't think they deserve that. I think people like this are the scum of the earth, and, you know, he he got away with it, basically, by taking himself, right? I think that it's a pretty cowardice way to go out in, in situations like that. You know, it's different in other circumstances, but, I mean, you just gotta be not all there, right, to make a 1,725 hour trip over a Call of Duty disagreement or an internet disagreement in general and let that be the reason that, like, you know, you take someone else's life. I mean, when it comes down to it, man, like, I, I just feel bad for people who play video games, too, because, like, even though gamers aren't even really attributed to the situation, right? Like, these are the news stories that a lot of people point to, once again, right? Like, you'll see, like, on news stations and stuff, they'll report things like this, and, and then they'll talk about, like, you know, video games have been accused of violent incidents in the past and things like that, or, or they'll make pseudoscientific claims that, like, 
you know, some groups believe that video games do cause a spike in violent behavior and things like that, right? You, you don't see the scientific reports where they say that that's not the case. Or like the very vast majority of gamers, they, they aren't psychos who would do a 25 hour trip to kill someone or do something crazy, right? But that's not the situation that gets covered, right? It's things like this. And yeah, I guess to a certain extent, I'm contributing to it by making this video, but it's like, man, it makes the rest of us look bad in a situation where someone's life was taken from them undeservingly right? I mean, we're talking about an 18 year old here, right? You know, either fresh out of high school, going into their senior year, something like that, right? Their whole life ahead of them, they could have done all kinds of things in this world, right? They could have done great things. And it's all, it's all over with because of potentially an argument over Call of Duty. It's a sad and serious situation. Like you look at the idea behind that, right? And you don't even, I, I don't think you can even conceptualize it into making sense. But then you think about the fact that now like a family has to bury an 18 year old over something this stupid and pitiful. I think that that's terrible, man. Of course, I linked the GoFundMe down below. I, I think that's only right to do. I think a lot of people uh, very, I think harshly, I guess, underestimate how much a funeral cost is, how much it costs to bury somebody and to, you know, get like a plat in a cemetery and get a headstone and things like that. Of course, this guy deserves like a nice resting place, right? A nice burial and everything. He didn't deserve to have this happen to him. And it's a tragic situation. As of me making this video, uh, the article is a little outdated. The current uh, number right now is $17,200 raised. And there's a goal of $20,000. If you'd like to contribute, the link is down below. I definitely encourage you to do so. I think that that's the right thing to do. Any amount helps, man. Um, obviously, rest in peace to Matthew. This was such a stupid reason to lose your life over. And dude, it, it, people got to calm down over this kind of stuff, man. Th this is, it, it's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? With that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at Subtoptimus. Make sure to check out Shop Opti down below. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus Well, not getting this mad over Call of Duty and signing out.